Hello. So if you can't tell, I'm going to a Dodger game today. It's actually Dodgers versus Yankees. So super excited about that. But I wanted to just give a quick explanation on the 30 days to healthy living, um, the products and how your typical day will go. So first of all, first and foremost, I really want to say that um, you've made such a great decision. Um, when I made the decision to do the 30 Days to Healthy Living program in October of 2017, um, one of the best decisions I ever made. I was a preschool, t a preschool director at the time and was just looking to lose 10 pounds, but little did I know that it would... Um, changed me in so many other ways. I was sleeping better, I had more energy, my hair was shiny, my skin was glowing, um, my mood was so much better, my anxiety level was down. It was just really phenomenal what fueling your body um, can do for you. And then I just couldn't help but share with my friends because I felt so good and they were noticing that I felt good and you know, became a consultant because when you find something that you love, you feel like you have to share it with other people. Okay, so that being said, I'm so excited for you and you're going to feel so good. Let me tell you that the first week can always be the more, most challenging because um, you're doing something different, right? So just know that if you come in, um, have some bumps in the road, it's okay. You can contact me if you need to, um, but I will give you some tips on here, uh, what you can do if you you know have some struggles, okay? So number one, when you wake up in the morning, you are going to, um, you have some choices actually. If you're the type that wakes up and has to have coffee automatically, then go ahead and have a fizz stick. So fizz sticks are give you B12, B6, um, antioxidants, green leaf tea extract. So it's going to give you that energy that you need. Um, I put it in a big hydro flask with water, so mine's a little bit more diluted. Some people, like my mom, she loves to put it in just a 16 ounce bottle of water because she likes it it's stronger. So play around with it, see how you like it. So you can start with this if you want. If you like something warm in the morning, you can start with the detox tea, okay? This does not have caffeine in it, um, but this is going to help you with all of, with your gut health, and it's going to help you with your digestive enzyme. It really supports your kidneys and your liver. So you can, if you want something warm, you can start with the detox tea. So at some point in the morning, you're gonna have fizz, you're gonna have your detox tea, um, or, most importantly, we have to get our digestive, um, our digestion plus in in the morning. So there's a couple ways you can do this, you guys. You can add it to your morning shake if you would like, or you can put it in four to eight ounces of water, stir it up really well, and chug it down that way. Um, however you get it down, we want this down in the morning. This is gonna be your prebiotics, your probiotics, and your digestive enzymes. So this is really gonna help you with your digestion throughout the day, and it's gonna help with your gut health as well. So make sure you get this in in the morning. Um, for me, what I do is I add it with, I have something called Greens Balance, which we can talk about later, but I do a, a scoop of Greens Balance, I do my Digestion Plus, and I do a fizz stick in a big bottle, and I drink that in the morning. That's kind of like my morning cocktail. So whatever you do, get your Digestion Plus in in the morning, okay? So that's your morning. You've got, um, You've got to get those things in. Let's talk about your morning shake. So this is vanilla. I like both flavors. Vanilla, a lot of times I will add berries to it. Sometimes I just drink it plain because I really do like the flavor. But with your um, with your protein, you're going to put, um, I put, gosh, I put a little bit more water. I use water and I usually do somewhere around, oh, I don't, I don't know, 14 ounces of water, something like that. Um, you can do anywhere between 10 and 16 ounces of water, just depending on how big you want it. You can also use unsweetened almond milk as well. Um, I love the taste of the protein. So for me, I use water because um, I feel like the almond milk kind of takes away the taste a little bit, but there's many, many people that use the almond milk because it helps them to feel more full. So whatever, play around with it and see what you wanna do. There's a ton of shake recipes on your private Facebook group. So make sure to click on files and under files will be shake recipes, okay? So you're gonna do two scoops of your shake, right? Then if you, um, I always add a handful of spinach to my shake as well, you guys. You can't taste it. You cannot taste it at all. I, I'm like, I can't even believe it the first time I did it, but you can't taste it. So add some greens, some kale or some spinach to your shake. 
You're also gonna add your fiber boost. So the fiber boost, do about a quarter scoop in the beginning. So like maybe the first two weeks, do a quarter scoop. And then if you feel like you're doing fine, then do a half a scoop. Um, this is a soluble fiber. So you guys, what this is gonna do is it's going to attach to those toxins and it's gonna help rid the body of the toxins, okay? And I'm gonna tell you, the average American gets about nine grams of fiber a day. We're supposed to have somewhere around 35 grams of fiber a day. We are not getting enough fiber in our diet, so this is very important to add to your shake. And then you're gonna add some ice, and then you're gonna blend it up. You can add berries if you want. Um, the chocolate tastes really good with a small scoop of um, almond butter. Um, so play around with it. Look at those shake recipes. You're gonna blend it in a blender. If you can't blend it in a blender, it's okay. I have many, many clients that just take their protein in a shaker, like on the side in a Ziploc, and then they fill up their shaker bottle with water and they shake it up and they drink it on the go. So you can do that as well. Just don't forget to add that little bit of fiber in as well, okay? So that is going to be your morning. You've got your detox tea, you've got your, um, you've got your fizz, and you have your protein shake. So whatever, whatever order you wanna do it is totally fine. I don't eat, drink my protein shake till like nine o'clock after my workout. So, but some people, they wanna eat right in the morning, so they might do it at six in the morning. So that's fine too. The other thing to note is there's only enough detox tea for, um, what there's 30 detox teas, I believe. Is there 30? Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, 20, I'm sorry, there's 40 detox teas. So there's, if you do two a day, there's only enough for 20 days. So they suggest one to two a day. So you're not gonna have enough to do two every single day and that's completely fine. So just know that you have enough to do one to two a day. The other thing that I love to do with this, you guys, especially in the warm weather, is um, I brew it up and, uh, you know, with the, in, I just use the microwave, you know, and then I pour it over ice and I do iced tea and I suck it down that way. So good. You're going to fall in love with this product. You're going to love it. Okay. So that is your morning in, then you, then you're going to get hungry for a snack, I bet. Right? So you're, there's going to be a whole list of snack items in the Facebook group, but I can also give you that list of snack ideas. Some of my favorites are a rice cake with almond butter and chopped up strawberries. I love that, okay? Or you can do, like I do those little sweet peppers with hummus, that's super good. You can do carrot sticks with hummus. You can do a handful of almonds. You can do a handful of cashews. Um, there's a whole slew, green apple, a oh, green apple with almond butter is one of my favorites. So there is a ton of different snack ideas that you are going to love. So you're not gonna feel deprived. Then for lunch, you can do another protein shake if you would like, um, or you can do your, you can do a clean meal. So here's the deal, you guys. If you're looking to lose weight, you're, wanna, you're going to wanna do two shakes a day. If you're looking just to detoxify, then you can do one shake a day and two clean meals. This is up to you, okay? Um, I usually did my clean meal as dinner. You might choose to do your clean meal as lunch. Either way is completely fine. Um, in your Facebook group, there's a slew of recipes. Um, click on files and the recipes will be right there. Um, four weeks worth of recipes. The leader will, um, will give you each week like a couple days before the week is gonna start. So there's a ton of recipes on there. But essentially with your clean meal, you're gonna do, um, you're going to do a lean protein, right? You're gonna do a half of your plate is gonna be really great vegetables, right? And then you're gonna, you can have your choice. This is the beauty of this program. Have your choice of organic brown rice, organic quinoa, or sweet potatoes. And I love that. That was just, you know, for all of us out there that kind of love those, you know, carbs or, you know, thankfully it's complex carbs and it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna really give us that energy that we need and our bodies, they crave it and they need it, right? So um, you're gonna do your, your shake for your um, lunch. You're gonna do another snack in the afternoon and then you're gonna do your clean meal at night. The other really cool thing is if you're feeling like at night that you're, you want something warm, have your detox tea. It doesn't have any caffeine. You can have it at night. I may have already mentioned that. I can't remember. Um, the other thing to mention is the body cleanse. You're gonna see this in your kit. The body cleanse is for week three, you guys. So set this aside. You are not gonna need this until you start on week three. When you do the body cleanse, what you're gonna do 
is you're gonna put it in a little bit of warm water first so that it dilutes really well. And then you're gonna, once it gets all, you you know, um, stir it around or shake it or whatever and it gets all diluted, then you're gonna add cold water to it in a big 32 ounce um, cup. So if you don't have a 32 ounce hydro flask, um, just go grab one. Uh, or there's one on Arbonne.com too. I wish I had mine right here. I don't have it with me right now. Anyway, um, so you're gonna add that and you're gonna drink the body cleanse throughout the day. So, and it's a very gentle body cleanse. So if you wanted to like kind of chug, you know, maybe a fourth of it in the morning and then a fourth a little bit later and a fourth, that's fine. Like you don't need to like sip and then 10 minutes later sip, sip, you know, it's not that strict. Um, but you're gonna drink it throughout the day. It is gentle. It is not gonna have you running to the bathroom. What I will tell you is that you might feel a little like, mm, a little something going on in your gut, right? But just know, and when I say something going on in your gut, like maybe a little bit, like sometimes I hear like a little gurgling, you know what I mean? But what I know is that this sucker is doing its job. It's cleaning my gut. It's really just helping to detoxify my body even more. And I love this product. The best part about it, you guys, it tastes like lemonade. It is delicious you're going to love the flavor so just sip on this throughout the day um, or like i said whenever you can just to get it you know throughout kind of spread it out throughout the day um, the facebook group is where you're going to find the most information so make sure to stay plugged into that the leader is going to post stuff every day not only information but inspiration and motivation and just really good tips and and um and things and then of course you know I'm always available to you so reach out to me with questions with concerns um, but the one thing I have to tell you is that you are going to feel so so good I feel like maybe I left something out and I can't think of what it is so after watching this if you have any questions just let me know I would be happy to answer any questions that you might have but just know that I am your biggest cheerleader and um, if I can do this, anybody can do this. Um, the other thing I, I did forget is the avoid list. There is an avoid list of things that you wanna avoid during the 30 days to healthy living, such as caffeine, so, um, I shouldn't say coffee, I should say coffee, such as coffee, such as sodas, you know, um, such alcohol, we're gonna eliminate alcohol, we're gonna eliminate sugar. So there is a whole avoid list and um, I, if you haven't seen that on the uh, private Facebook group, I can send that to you, just let me know. Um, but we wanna avoid those things because we really are trying to get our body to an alkaline level and we're trying to balance our pH levels. And that is what is gonna make you feel so good. The elimination of the toxins and getting you balanced, it's gonna balance your blood sugar as well. So there is a reason that this program is so much different than every other program and there is a reason that people come back time and time again to use our products once they've done the program because they realize how good they are and how beneficial they are and that they actually work. So anyway, I wish you all the best of luck like you need it, you're not gonna need it, you're going to love the program, and um, please reach out to me with any questions you might have. I'm so excited for you, and let's, let's do this, 30 days. Think about it, 31 days from now, or whenever you're starting, it, you are going to feel amazing. Super excited for you. Mwah. Have a great day.